So, you may recognize what I have in my hands here as a guitar, and this is one I actually made for my degree in physics. And behind me here is a telescope made for looking at focusing light, in particular for looking at the light given off by cosmic rays. And you may wonder, why am I standing in front of this dish with a guitar? And what the dish is designed for is to focus light beams. As they come in and they hit the dish, they get reflected back into a certain point about where I'm standing. Now, it wasn't designed for sound, but what I'm going to show you is that if I put sound waves into the dish in this, um, uh, with using this guitar that I have, uh, then hopefully you can hear something really interesting going on. So as I move the guitar around, hopefully you heard that it was getting louder and quieter. I'll do it again. So, although it's not built for sound, it actually works very well to focus in the sound waves to a certain point, and this all depends on how the mirror is shaped, and this is what happens with the, the light rays as they come into the dish. Now what I work on is vibrations in space-time, known as gravitational waves, and although it sounds very abstract, they have a lot of similarities to the sound that you're hearing from this guitar. Uh, these are vibrations in space and are um, usually with objects that are very, very far away. And you may have heard that in space, uh, no one can hear you scream because sounds don't travel through space. Well, that's not entirely true for stars exploding or black holes colliding. And so in this way, it's very similar to the vibrations coming through the guitar or sounds that you hear yourself. These vibrations are instead coming, coming from outer space itself. And so they're vibrations of space and time itself, just like this guitar. Thank you.